plasticity 3D has emerged as a compelling alternative in the world of 3D modeling software, particularly for those who need powerful, precise modeling capabilities with the focus on NEBS and CAD-like workflows. It offers a streamlined approach to modeling that appeals to both professionals and hobbyists who are looking for a simpler yet effective way to create complex shapes and surfaces. In this video, we dive deeper into what plasticity is about, its strengths and weaknesses, its main focus and what its recent update brings to the table. Plasticity 3D was developed by Nicholas Bishop, a software engineer and a 3D modeling enthusiast. The development began in an attempt to fill a gap in the market between complex CAD software like SolidWorks and a more artist-friendly 3D tool like Blender. Released in its early version around 2021, Plasticity quickly gained attention for offering a streamlined and accessible approach to hard surface modeling. The software's design philosophy revolves around simplicity and efficiency targeting users who need to create precise models without the often steep learning curves associated with traditional CAD applications. Unlike softwares like Blender, which is known for its versatility but can become overwhelming for specific CAD-like modeling tasks, Plasticity focuses on a limited but robust set of features tailored for high-precision modeling. Plasticity has found a niche among industry designers, product developers, and 3D artists who appreciate its ability to handle NEB surfaces with a more intuitive interface than traditional CAD software. It has steadily grown in popularity, partly due to the active community surrounding it and the regular updates provided by its developer. By 2024, Plasticity has evolved significantly, adding features that further blurred the line between CAD software and a more artistic 3D modeling tool. Plasticity has found a niche amongst industry designers, product developers, and 3D artists who appreciate its ability to handle NEB surfaces with a more intuitive interface than traditional CAD software. It has steadily grown in popularity, partly due to its active community surrounding it and a regular update provided by its developer. By 2024, Plasticity had evolved significantly, adding more features that blurred the line between CAD software and more artistic 3D modeling tools. One of the most significant advantages of Plasticity 3D is its simplicity in comparison to traditional CAD software. While CAD tools like AutoCAD or SolidWorks offer powerful modeling capabilities, they often require specialized training to master. Plasticity simplifies this process by focusing on an intuitive user interface, making it easier for artists and designers to create complex shapes without getting bogged down by overly technical interfaces. Another strength of plasticity is its focus on NEBS modeling. NEBS are mathematical representations of 3D geometry that allows for the creation of smooth complex curves and surfaces. This makes plasticity particularly effective for industrial design where precision is paramount. Users can create intricate shapes with smooth surfaces that are ideal for manufacturing, product design and other applications where exact dimensions are crucial. Plasticity also offers a streamlined workflow for converting models between different formats. It can export to commonly used 3D file types like OBG, FBX, and STEP, making it easy to integrate Plasticity models in other software. This compatibility is essential for users who may start their design in Plasticity and then move to other platforms like Blender for texturing, ZBrush for detailed sculpting, or Unreal Engine for rendering and animation. Performance is another area where plasticity shines. Unlike some larger CAD software, it is lightweight and optimized for smooth performance even on less powerful hardware. This makes it an accessible option for users who may not have access to high-end workstations but still require precision modeling capabilities. Additionally, plasticity's relatively low cost compared to traditional CAD software has made it an attractive option for freelancers, hobbyists, and small studios. Despite its many strengths, 
Plasticity 3D has some limitations. One of the main drawbacks is its limited feature set compared to full-fledged CAD softwares like SolidWorks or Rhinoceros 3D. While Plasticity excels in NEPS-based modeling and offers an intuitive interface, it lacks the advanced simulation, drafting and analysis too that are standard in more comprehensive CAD packages. This means that while it can be an excellent starting point for concept design and initial modeling, users may need to tend to other software for detailed engineering or manufacturing processes. Another disadvantage is its relatively small user base and community compared to giants like Blender or AutoCAD. While the plasticity community is passionate and growing, the availability of tutorials, plugins, and third-party resources is still limited. This can pose a challenge for new users who are looking to learn the software through community-driven content or need specific tools that aren't built into the base program. Plasticity's focus on NEPS modeling means that it might not be the best choice for artists who primarily work with polygonal modeling workflows, especially those in industries like game development or character animation. While it does offer polygonal modeling capabilities, its true strength lies in precision surface modeling, making it less ideal for organic high detailed character work that softwares like ZBrush or Blender are better suited for. Plasticity 3D is primarily used in fields where precision modeling is key, such as industrial design, product development, and architecture. Designers and engineers who need to create detailed prototype and concepts often turn to plasticity because of its ability to model intricate shapes with smooth surfaces. For example, it is well suited for designing consumer electronics, automotive parts, and finishes, where exact measurements and high-quality surface finishes are critical. The soft Software is also popular among 3D printing enthusiasts. The precision of NEPS modeling allows users to create models that translate well into physical objects, minimizing the need for extensive post processing. With the ability to export models in formats that are directly compatible with most 3D printing software, plasticity simplifies the transition from digital design to physical production. Additionally, plasticity has gained traction amongst artists in the concept design community. Its intuitive interface allows artists to sketch out ideas and develop complex models quickly without needing to navigate through the more complex systems of traditional CAD software. This makes it an excellent tool for concept artists and designers who want to focus on form and shape without being slowed down by technical constraints. Plasticity 3D's recent update has brought a significant set of enhancements and features that continue to push its capabilities as a versatile tool for precision 3D modeling. This version builds upon the software's core strengths, particularly in NEBS-based modeling, while refining its user experience and expanding its functionality. In this video, we will dive into the specifics of what the new update offers, including interface improvements, performance optimizations, expanded file format support, enhanced modeling tools and new features for curve and surface manipulation. One of the standout aspects of the recent update is the revamped user interface, designed with a focus on making the software more intuitive and adaptable to individual workflows. The interface improvements aim to streamline the modeling process, reducing the time it takes for users to access the tools they need. Users can now easily customize their workspace, allowing for the adjustment of panels, toolbars, and menus to create a layout that suits their particular style of work. This customization is particularly useful for users transitioning from other 3D modeling platforms like Blender or Fusion 360, who may be looking for a more familiar layout. By allowing the repositioning of tools and adjusting the user interface to individual preferences, Plasticity 3D makes it easier for new users to get up to speed while giving seasoned users more efficient workflow. The streamlined interface is also designed to be less cluttered, ensuring that the focus remains on the modeling area while keeping frequent used tools readily accessible. Plasticity 3D has always been known for its lightweight nature compared to more resource-intensive CAD software, and the recent update further enhances its performance. One of the key areas of improvement is in handling larger, more complex models with a higher number of surfaces and curves. The update includes optimizations that reduces lag and improve responsiveness when working with dense geometries. 
This means that users can manipulate complex models such as detailed product design or architectural layout without experiencing significant slowdowns. For professionals working on intricate designs where performance can be a critical factor, these optimizations make a noticeable difference. Whether it's adjusting curves on a high-resolution model or refining the details of a surface, the new update ensures that plasticity remains smooth and responsive. This makes the software a more viable option for users who may have previously turned to more powerful workstations or higher-end CAD programs to handle their demanding projects. The ability to move 3D models between different software platforms is crucial in many industries and the new update has improved plasticity interoperability through expanded file format support. New file formats have been added, including better support for CAD standards such as STEP and IGES, as well as improvements to existing exports like OBJ and FBX. This makes it easier to integrate plasticity into various design pipelines, whether the end goal is rendering, 3D printing, or further editing in softwares like Rhinoceros 3D, Blender, or Maya. For example, designers can now use plasticity to create detailed NEPS models and then export them to other software for more advanced rendering or animation. The improved .xtep export ensures that models retain their precision and smoothness when transferred to CAD programs used in engineering or manufacturing processes. This expanded compatibility makes plasticity a more versatile tool for professionals who need to work across multiple software environments, ensuring that models created in plasticity retain their integrity and precision throughout the workflow. One of the most exciting additions in the new update is the improvement to curve manipulation tools, providing users with more flexibility and control when creating and editing curves. These tools are crucial for creating smooth complex surfaces in NEPS modeling allowing designers to define the exact curvature and flow of their models. The update introduces a more refined curve editing mode, enabling users to create, adjust, and align curves with greater precision. This is particularly beneficial in fields like automotive and aerospace design, where the aerodynamics of a surface can depend on the subtle control of curves. Users can adjust curvature, control point, and tangent with high degree of accuracy, making it possible to create smooth transitions and complex shapes that are difficult to achieve with standard polygonal modeling. Additionally, the new snapping feature in the curve manipulation tool allows for better alignment of curves and surfaces, making it easier to create symmetrical design and precise adjustment. This is particularly useful for designers working on mechanical parts where exact measurements are critical. These improvements help make the process of defining the shape and structure of model more intuitive, reducing the time spent on fine-tuning and adjustment. Alongside the improvements to curve manipulation, Plasticity 3D has introduced new surface editing tools that provide more options for shaping and refining NEP surfaces. The update includes enhancements to surface trimming and blending functions, allowing users to seamlessly join, cut, and blend surfaces with greater accuracy. This is particularly useful for creating complex transitions between surfaces, such as blending the body of a car with its aerodynamic fins or merging organic shapes in industrial design. These enhanced surface tools makes it easier to model objects with smooth continuous surfaces, reducing the need for manual adjustment and making the software more capable of handling intricate design challenges. Designers can now create more fluid shapes with fewer artifacts or irregularities, which is crucial for maintaining a high level of detail in final models. This is especially beneficial in product design, where surface quality can directly impact the manufacturing process and the final appearance of a product. The new update also brings more robust snapping and alignment features, making it easier to place objects precisely within the 3D space. This is an essential aspect of CAD-like modeling, where components often need to be aligned accurately relatively to each other. The improved snapping system in Plasticity 3D allows for easier placement of objects along curves surfaces, 
as well as better control over aligning edges and vertices. These enhancements makes it easier to maintain consistency in complex models, such as aligning parts in mechanical assembly or ensuring that architectural elements are positioned correctly. For those working on projects where precise measurements are crucial, these snapping and alignment updates can greatly speed up the modeling process and reduce errors, making the software more efficient for professional use. The new Plasticity 3D has also focused on improving user documentation and expanding the available learning resources. As the software's user base has grown, so has the need for more accessible guides and tutorials to help new users get the most out of the software. The new update has introduced more in-depth documentation, covering the use of new features and providing detailed examples of how to implement advanced modeling techniques. This enhanced documentation is especially valuable for new users who may be transitioning from other platforms or learning NEPS based modeling for the first time. It also serves experienced users who want to explore the newer tools in the update more thoroughly. With these resources, Plasticity aims to foster a more informed user community, helping to reduce the software's learning curve and empower users to take full advantage of newer updates. Recent updates made into Plasticity 3D represent a significant step forward in the software's development, offering enhancements that refine its usability, expand its capability, and improve its integration with other industry tools. With a more intuitive interface, improved performance for handling large models, and advanced tools for curve and surface manipulation, Plasticity has become an even more compelling choice for those who need precise, efficient modeling. These updates make Plasticity 3D a more competitive option in the landscape of 3D modeling software, bridging the gap between traditional CAD program and artist-focused 3D tools. Whether users are designing complex products for manufacturing, creating intricate 3D prints, or simply exploring new creative possibilities, this and upcoming Plasticity 3D update will offer a robust platform with the power and flexibility to meet their needs. Okay, if you love this video, kindly don't forget to subscribe, like, share. Until my next video, peace.